No passage. Don't linger, neither. Greetings. Don't know you. Not letting you in. And don't you fucking stand there. I've got my chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Eagle. I call him Hook. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. Get ready. Your turn now. I am ready. He's a tossing, tossing. I know when keeps blowing. Boys are blowing. She's a drag. Remember our deal. I don't know. We're just there. It's all for a rust here. You need to hold on for a moment. Stop staring. You'll jinx our work. That's it. We agreed on more. Take this city somehow. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Horson Jr.'s made a load of enemies. I know that much. Maybe I can be of use. Junior can take care of himself. You needn't fret about him. But I can't help wonder how you know this place belongs to him. Heard it does. That's all. Forget you heard of Junior. Keep Elfie. That's my advice. Fine. All in all, don't really care who I'm gonna protect. Just looking for work. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience. Done my share of fighting. I wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Sometimes. Why not come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. Hmm. I'll have to test you. I want to see how you manage in a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Ready your purses! Betting is open! From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water, our witcher, a murderous mutant, his opponent, Gustav Rohn, a man who cut his way out of his mother's womb with a knife, as ever, a fight to the death! Free. You need the risks. I will not kill him. Release the hounds! The Witcher wins! Next fight! Born brawlers in battle! A fracas! A rumpus! A fray! The Witcher versus the Hairy Brothers! Straight from the Wild Isles of Skellige! Sired by a mountain bear! They live to kill! Like your brother. Never. The Witcher and Gustav Rowan defeat their opponents! Next fight! The Witcher doing what he does best! Face to face with beasts!
Tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's tours are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand here like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those midgets. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? You heard the man. Kill him. Worn by a moving door. Strange on this wall. Drift 
Keekstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Danians. Do. What do you want? Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the big four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. That's it, Roach.
Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here, either. <clears throat> you blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. <clears throat> Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. What do you do here? Hunt Scoia'tael? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We would have stopped the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help, or do I need to keep looking? Hmm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Trouble. A Witcher. Just what our it's friend you kill Mary kings. My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with.
Your contact, who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? I have no idea. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sire. I believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You'd just give me a man, after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time.
Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Other witches, then we'll come for you. Don't you worry. Another day gone to shit. You can learn a great deal when you're gripping a pair of pincers or white hot tongues. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? Jr. ought to know someone's sniffing around. Here to talk about the new girls for Horson. Never seen you here before. You know him? Can't say that I do. I'm new here. Yeah? What happened to Norbert? Cleaver happened to him. Poor sod. Better than to die of consumption, remember? He looked a bit on the down slope. All right. But next time, remember to bring the tarts for Junior through the back by way of the old canal. Go through there. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. What do you want? Where's Horson Junior? Oh, this one's got but Junior. Here to never. You know, can't. I'm yeah. Cleave. Pause. Bad. Oh, uh. thanks. Uh. It's hard to believe Nanka dabbled in witchcraft. Such a nice old gran. Has she got a black Long cat? live she the has. king. Dried herbs. Hunters will see to you. <coughs> ah. Farewell. Uh. Orson Jr.'s men visit you too, collecting protection coin.
I'm it. Degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. Junior, I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to talk to people I didn't want to talk to. Wouldn't normally talk to. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? The girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. <laughs> 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 
Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doo Doo? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now... My dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Wants to get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Fucking kill you, cat! I'll get you, you little whore. Where's Ruvik's treasure? Since you're in for it, keep it together, legs. Oh, yes. Grab the cat. Oh. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 
Fucking no! Prick vanished! There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. 
Philippa Eilhart. What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape again. You may go. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding.